Hello there. How are you? Thank you very much for having me and uh, to respond to uh, some of your questions. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Idea Paruji. I am the chairman of the Nigerian American Coalition for Justice and Democracy, a civil society organization based here in Washington, D.C., USA. Um, you had wanted me to uh, you know, react and respond uh, to the outcome of uh, the uh, case in Chicago, which is uh, the article of Baka versus uh, Chicago State University, um, the, which uh, the uh, the uh, His Excellency Atiku Abubaka had requested that the university uh, release uh, the student record of uh, Abdullah Tinubu uh, to him, uh, you know, for the purpose of uh, the case he's prosecuting uh, in Nigeria, and uh, the uh, court. Uh, Subsequently, you know, released those uh, you know, records to him, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, records reveal a few things. Uh, some of them uh, have uh, immediate impact, and uh, others are going to have uh, you know, more uh, impacts, and even may uh, even dovetail into criminal uh, actions against the uh, Um The first one that is going to make a immediate impact is that uh, the university could not authenticate the certificate uh, that Balatunbu submitted uh, to INEC as a part of his application you know, for, uh, uh, to run for political office. So that is huge. And uh, the other uh, discrepancies uh, that uh, were revealed in the records include his age, which is also different from what you know, was submitted to INEC. Of course, uh, the gender, uh, the you know, student that uh, was admitted uh, uh, with the uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu name at Chicago State University uh, uh, is a female uh, by gender. And uh, uh, also, there, has, uh, there are also uh, discrepancy. There was also a discrepancy uh, in his age. Uh, his age was different uh, from what uh, was uh, submitted uh, to uh, to INEC. But one of the things that is uh, very troubling, you know, for every one of us, every Nigerian across the world, is the fact that. Uh, uh, we have been humiliated, we have been tired as forgers uh, by uh, the uh, staff of the university during the deposition uh, when uh, he had uh, uh, made uh, in response to a question, uh, basically said that uh, uh, Nigerians, you know, are accustomed to uh, uh, forging documents. So, uh, uh, like I said, it's going to take us a whole lot of uh, time to recover from this uh, because ordinarily uh, Nigerians uh, you know, have a uh, uh, bad name across the world even when we are very hard-working people. Um, this situation doesn't make uh, our situation uh, better at all. Like I said, uh, we, have, we feel very, very humiliated. And uh, as a result, my group and uh, coalition across the globe uh, are demanding accountability and uh, the accountability we are asking for right now immediately is that uh, Bola Tinubu and his uh, so-called administration must go immediately. They must leave immediately because they have fouled up the whole space and uh, we just can't have this anymore. It is just getting too suffocating and uh, every one of us now have been tied by other things that uh, we are going to be uh, pursuing in uh, the days ahead uh, will be what we call the uh, proceeds of uh, crime act uh, provisions uh, which will deny him from any benefits of uh, the uh, uh, fraud that uh, he has uh, committed that uh, uh, is forgery. So which means everyone who has touched him that is, has you know, benefited since then, uh, those people who uh, uh, suffer some confiscation 
of uh, you know, uh, their, the proceeds of uh, uh, their relationship uh, with uh, Bola Tinubu. So that is one. Uh, the second one is that uh, we are going to be uh, calling on all Nigerians to boycott Nigeria economically. What does that mean? It means that we will still cater for our families back home, but if you're having any investment in Nigeria, if you're a Nigerian, we are going to be calling on you to stop any investment in Nigeria until this space is cleaned out. Again, uh, Bolatinubu and uh, his uh, you know, you know, gang of uh, rogues have uh, you know, you know, uh, fouled up the entire space. It's not acceptable. The third one is uh, we are going to be asking for you know, visa ban on all members of this administration. All members of this administration. And the fourth line of action will be we will be calling for protests across the world. Nigerians are going to be protesting, letting the world know that we do not in any way be associated, you know, with uh, uh, this uh, forger, you know, called uh, Bonatinu and uh, his administration. We don't condone that. We will hold him accountable. Uh, the way it is. And uh, at the end of the day, um, we are in this for a long haul, and uh, we are also hoping uh, that uh, at this point in time, um, we are gradually beginning to see the difference between uh, the judiciary that works and the judiciary that stands. So, uh, the Nigerian judiciary, the Supreme Court, all our eyes are now on you.